I don't even know what else. I don't even have anything else to talk about. What do you think? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, what do you think of autism gender as Vosh encountered? That's a great topic. What do you think of autism gender as Vosh encountered on that panel? Ah, well, that's a really good one. Uh, auti gender or autism gender, as some people say, um, I think it's fine. Uh, it makes sense. Basically, for those who don't know what that is, um, for those who don't know what, like, auti gender is, it's a very niche, uh, gender identity. And the basic idea behind it is that, um, autism, like, you, like, the idea is that somebody who's auti gender, uh, basically they say that, like, their experience with autism has affected so much of their life that they don't feel that they can build, that they fit in any sort of gender binary because of their experience with autism. And this is actually really stark. People might think that sounds a little bit, um, a little bit silly at first, but uh, I want you to think about this. It is uh, uh, autistic, even, even cis autistic people, um, one of the, the diagnostic categories for autism in the past was the fact that, um, that like for example uh, uh autistic women would 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 not conform to gender stereotypes there was lots of uh, of gender expectations built into the uh the diagnostic criteria specifically mostly for women um who are young young women who are autistic um so it actually makes a lot of sense if you think about it gender is strongly social autism is a uh, is a, 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 a type of neurodivergence that affects us socializing a lot. So it makes sense that a lot of people would feel they have a very unique um, experience with gender. Honestly, it's pretty logical and it makes sense to me. Um, again, I am a gender ascensionist. So I believe that we should ultimately move above and beyond using gender as a category to, to, to categorize people. I don't think it benefits us very much. I think that gender as a category mostly serves to benefit essentialists, mostly benefits people who want to build a binary or a, a set of very highly rigid defined gender roles. So I, I think that, uh, I think that ultimately, um, like, I don't know. Uh, I don't know that it's valuable to, to frame everything through gender, um, but, at the same time, it's also very logical to me. Is there a difference between ascensionists and abolitionists? I mean, not really. It's more or less the same idea. I just think it sounds cooler to say gender ascensionist because uh, I think when people, I think when people react to the idea of abolition, they think that we're going to sign a law that deletes gender, whereas gender ascension uh, impl implies that we will grow and evolve beyond the need for gender. So it's literally it's an aesthetic difference, but an aesthetic difference that I think is important. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that it's really important to do that. Uh, Elak, Elak says, my mom was dismissive of my gender dysphoria because of that. Yeah, it's something that happens. Um, autistic people are often, uh, like, a lot of, a lot of parents try to pin being trans on being autistic. There's actually way more overlap than you might think. And yeah, it actually makes sense to me a lot. Like the auti gender concept makes a lot of sense to me. Um, I think that some, I think that it's kind of low hanging fruit for people to make fun of it because you know people make fun of autism, but I don't, and I don't really see anything wrong with somebody being autistic. Um, in fact, I quite like autistic people, um, and uh, and uh, you know I'm neurodivergent myself. Um, but but yeah, the auti gender thing makes a lot of sense to me. Um, it made a lot of sense to me when I first encountered it. Um, but it, it is, as I've thought on it more, it only makes more sense. And the more I hear people in, uh, talk about it, the more I think it can be valuable. How do we abolish gender over time? By teaching people, uh, by teaching people to, um, by teaching people to introspect, by teaching people that it's okay to challenge, uh, gender prescriptions, by teaching people, uh, by encouraging people to introspect and look deeper at gender and, f and, and ask themselves whether gender actually helps them know anything really about themselves or whether it's actually just restricting us. In my opinion, um, like using gender as a way to, to, ca to like categorize the world is only really harmful. Um, because 
it's it's just an added layer of nonsense onto stuff we already do. We wear different clothes. None of that has to be categorized as masculine or feminine. It doesn't give us any value. People just wear what they want to wear and they're different. Um, it doesn't tell us anything about like bodies or anything because there's all types of masculine and feminine bodies. Um, I just think that mostly the concept of gender only stands in like, the adherence to gender only stands in our way. Using gender to categorize people only makes it harder for us. So we should move beyond it. And I think the way we do that is by strongly encouraging people to deeply, deeply introspect about it. Interestingly, I think that's happening. I think a lot of people, I think the prominence of trans issues, um, uh, even though it comes at a great cost for trans people who have to deal with a fuckload of blowback for no reason because of bigots. Um, regardless, I think that the, the fact that lots of people are thinking about gender and they're being confronted with this makes people think about it. And they start to go, wait a minute. Like, yeah, sure, I'm cis. Uh, like, I don't feel the need to transition or whatever, but it's kind of bullshit that I'm expected to, to because of, because of my... Uh, because of a gender that is assigned to me by nobody it's just it it's just forced on me by society at large that i'm supposed to act one way or 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 do certain things so that's how i think we start to uh you know i i i, I think that's how we start to change things like seriously and i think we've seen that already uh i mean there's those there's those polls about how many um how many uh young like how many zoomers identify as queer and a lot of them identify as queer not just because of sexuality, but also because of gender. Like that basically they're just like, I don't really identify with these old gender roles. That doesn't, it doesn't categorize me. So I think it's successful. There's this thing. I always talk about how, um, how like, uh, uh like, like uh, how I, I do believe that as time goes on, trans people will ultimately win. The trans community is going to win. Barring, uh, barring a, like, I don't even know. I, I don't even think there's anything that can stop this. As long as humans are continuing to connect with one another and share knowledge, as long as humans are still connected, I think that uh, that the ideas that that trans people uh, bring with them, the fact that by being trans you are challenging a gender binary, I think that will lead the world to come to better conclusions about gender. Um, I just wish it didn't have to be so painful for trans people. Um, yeah. Sparkle Cat says, I'm a cis autistic woman who likes being a woman, and even though I'm still cis, my specific relationship to my gender is still incredibly shaped by my autism. It's easy to see why someone would be auti gender or autism gender, even if my answer to gender was different. Yeah, it's really easy to understand. It's not, I think people react to it knee jerk because they want, because honestly, because I think that people are discriminatory towards autistic people. Yeah. Trans people have been around, but the ideas have not been able to communicate. The, the ideas have not been able to spread uh, at, very well because of the unbelievable repression that the world lived in, and because of technological limitations. We live in a uh, we live in a, a a unique period in human history where the internet exists, and even if the internet was to go down, mass media still exists, and even if mass media was to fall apart, the the tools to broadcast media still exist and will still exist and even if those broke down uh we now know a lot of a lot the, the ideas like progressive ideals uh and 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 uh and critical thinking has spread to an incredible degree so that information would continue to spread even if everything else fell apart so i i think that we've reached a point where it is a only a matter of time um that that like basically queer people win and i mean that because i think that uh the truth is there are a lot of queer people there are a lot more queer people than people who will admit that they're queer and those people who uh don't know who don't know or don't have the words to explain it when they find the words they will be queer and e and those who repress it they will be unhappy and those who don't repress it will not be unhappy it's that simple it's it's a there is a there is a a a functional mechanical reason for why this will keep spreading and as long as trans people maintain being visible as long as people keep talking about it that means cis people too all of you cis people out there that means you have to think about it and talk about it and spread it this idea will continue to spread because it already exists within us queer people and trans people have existed through all of history to all kinds of degrees they were just very unhappy through most of history
Lenago Miscellaneous says, hey, thank you for explaining autigender. I heard the term through anti-SJW content that made it sound very cringy. It's actually something I can relate to. I think a lot of people could probably relate to it, even non-autistic people. Um, even, like, even if like you can't necessarily immediately insert yourself, you could probably understand how a, uh, a, 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 a type of neurodivergence that affects your social life would have a huge impact on gender, which is completely social.